Modern Software Development Summarized. Originally titled Why I Hate Frameworks by Benji Smith. Let's pretend I've decided to build a spice rack. I've done small woodworking projects before, and I think I have a pretty good idea of what I need. Some wood, a few basic tools, a tape measure, a saw, a level, and a hammer. If I were going to build a whole house rather than just a spice rack, I'd still need a tape measure, a saw, a level, and a hammer, among other things. So if I go to the hardware store and buy the tools and I ask the sales clerk, where can I find a hammer? A hammer, he asks. Nobody really buys a hammer anymore. They, uh, they are kind of old-fashioned. Surprised at this development, I'd ask him why. Well, the problem with hammers is that there, there are so many different kinds. Sledgehammers, claw hammers, ball peen hammers. Wow. Uh, everyone loves a good old fashioned ball peen hammer. What if you bought one kind of hammer and then realized that you needed a different kind of hammer later? You'd have to buy a separate hammer for your next task. As it turns out, most people really want a single hammer that can handle all of the different kinds of hammering tasks you might encounter in your life. I feel like I can see where this is going. <laughs> hmm. Well, I suppose that sounds all right. Can you show me where to find a universal hammer? No, we don't sell those anymore. They're pretty obsolete. Really? I thought you just said the universal hammer was the wave of the future. As it turns out, if you, if you make only one kind of hammer capable of performing all the same tasks of those different kinds of hammers, then it isn't very good at, uh, at any of them. Driving a nail with a sledgehammer isn't very effective, and if you want to kill someone, there's really no substitute for a ball-peen hammer. <laughs> no! <laughs> what? <laughs> really, a quite factual statement. No one wants to kill someone with a sledgehammer. What are you, a warrior from Diablo 4? Okay, us regular humans use ball-peen. All right, that's true. Uh, so if nobody buys universal hammers anymore, and if you're no longer selling all those old-fashioned kinds of hammers, what kind of hammers do you sell? Actually, we don't sell hammers at all. So... Well, according to our research, what people really need wasn't a universal hammer after all. It's always better to have the right kind of hammer for the job. So we started selling hammer factories capable of producing whatever kinds of hammers you might be interested in using. All you need to do is staff the hammer factory with workers, activate the machinery, buy, buy the raw materials, pay the utility bills, and presto, you'll have exactly the kind of hammer you need in no time flat. This article is getting a little too close to home right now. Is this... Is this where we get that the the phrase like just a hammer in search of a nail? The gold is this the, where the golden hammer anti pattern comes from? But I don't really want to buy a hammer factory. That's good because we don't sell them anymore. But I thought you just said we discovered that most people don't actually need an entire hammer factory. Some people, for example, will never need a ball peen hammer. Maybe they've never had to kill someone. <laughs> no, dude. Why is that analogy even present? <laughs> <laughs> what is this? Game Maria! Or maybe, <laughs> or maybe they killed them with ice picks instead. <laughs> so there's no point in someone buying a hammer factory. They can produce every kind of hammer under the sun. Yeah, that makes a lot of sense. So instead, we started selling schematic diagrams for hammer factories, enabled our clients to build their own hammer factories, customized, engineered to manufacture only the kinds of hammers they would actually need. Let me guess, you don't sell those anymore? Nope, sure don't. As it turns out, people don't want to build entire factories just to manufacture a couple hammers. Leave the factory building up to the factory building expert. That's what I always say. And I would agree with you there. Yep, so we stopped selling those schematics and started selling hammer factory factories. Wait, hammer factory building factories. Each hammer factory factory is built for you by the top experts in the hammer factory factory business. So you don't need to worry about all the details that go into building a factory. Yet, you still get all the benefits of having your own customized hammer factory. Churning out your own customized hammers according to your own specific hammer designs. Well, that doesn't really... I know what you're going to say, and we don't sell those anymore either. For some reason, not many people were buying the Hammer Factory factory, so we came up with a new solution to address them. Uh-huh. When we stepped back and looked at the global tool infrastructure, we determined that people were frustrated with having to manage and operate Hammer Factory factories, as well as the Hammer Factory that it produced. That kind of overhead can get pretty cumbersome when you deal with the likely scenario of also operating a tape measure factory factory and a saw factory factory and a level factory factory, not to mention a lumber manufacturing conglomerate holding company. <laughs> 
when we really looked at the situation, we determined that it's just too complex for someone who really wants to build a spice rack. Yeah. No kidding. So this week, we introduced a general purpose tool building factory, 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 uh, so that all of your different tool factory factories can be produced by a single unified factory. The factory, factory, factory will produce only the tool factory factories that you actually need, and each of those factory factories will produce a single factory based on your custom tool specifications. Okay, this is actually really starting to sound like front-end development. Okay, now we're finally getting somewhere. See, this whole time I was like, they're not abstract enough, but finally we're just starting to scratch the surface, okay? I assume this is an allegory about React server components. The final set of tools that emerge from this process will be the ideal tools for your particular project. You'll have exactly the hammer you need, the exact right tape measure for your task, and at all, let's see, all at the press of a button, though you may have to deploy a few configuration files to make it all work according to your expectations. So you don't have any ha hammers. None at all. No. If you really want a high-quality, industrial-engineered spice rack, you desperately need something more advanced than a simple hammer from a rinky-dink hardware store. And this is the way everyone is doing it now. Everyone is using a general purpose tool building factory, factory, factory now. Whenever they need a hammer. Yes. Well, all right. I guess that's what I'll have to do. If this is the way things are done now, I guess I'd better learn how to do it. Good for you. This thing comes with documentation, right? You just got, you know, you just got to see the tweet. You know, the tweet was obvious. The tweet was, it was there in front of us. Straight meme machine. You know it. Shut it down. You know for a fact that's how it works. Light a star. I'm going to thank you in a moment. The name is I do write memes, and that was such an excellent article. I actually do want to take a second and say something about it. Here's one thing that you guys really got to know is that there are there is a time for a factory, 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 and I do not doubt it. I am fully on board that some levels of abstraction are truly wonderful, but there is something that happens when all you do is rely on abstractions. You don't learn the underlying concept. Take a moment and understand how to build a spice rack with a mother hammer okay just get the hammer out get some nails get a little bit of wood glue and just try it out yourself you know why because when you go to the factory 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 and that factory produces factories that produce the tool you want in a factory you're going to understand how at least that inner factory works and it is going to be incredible take a moment and understand your environment i cannot say it enough thank you light a store the name is the memogen